Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're down at work and we're outside the Bus Museum of Western Australia's shed and uh, they had their tow truck parked outside this morning. So I thought I would just uh, quickly show you their tow truck. This is a 1950 or 51 Leyland bus uh, that came to uh, Australia for the 1952 Commonwealth Games in Melbourne. Uh, after the Commonwealth Games, Melbourne didn't need as many buses as they had. So Western Australia got a bundle of the buses over here. Uh, and these served in Western Australia for the MTT, the Metropolitan Transport Trust, uh, until the very late 60s or early 70s. Uh, at which point most of the fleet were retired, uh, but four of them were cut down into to make tow trucks for the MTT. So this one has been substantially modified. Uh, obviously the chassis has been shortened. Um, it's had tow hitches put on the front, on the back here. Uh, we've got tow poles, solid link poles in here that are about six or eight feet long. Uh, we've got air brake, air supply to your towing bus on the back uh, and on on either side here. Uh, lights that you can, trailer lights that you can plug in with a, with a light bar sitting up here to go onto the back of the towed vehicle. Oh, and a heap of concrete blocks under the checker plate here uh, to give it a bit of weight over the back axle to allow you to tow with it. This has been beautifully restored by the Bus Preservation Society uh, to go into their new museum when that opens. And this is a beautiful old tow wagon. I have actually towed, I used this for towing um, and it tows really nicely. So these have a six cylinder Leyland diesel engine in them. Uh, these are fantastically reliable engines. They just keep going. They've got a huge amount of torque, not a lot of power. Uh, this does not go very fast, uh, but a huge amount of torque. Uh, I have seen one of these in a wreck that had been sitting for almost two years, that they put fuel in and a battery in and it started second shot over compression. Uh, these are just lovely engines with a lovely sound to them. We have a look inside the cab now. They've got a sliding door on the side here. Uh, seat for some passengers. So if you if you're taking if you're going out, maybe you want to take a mechanic with you. Spare wheel in here for your for your recovery bus or for the bus you're recovering. Um, sometimes they also had spare wheels mounted on the back there. Reasonable size tray in the back for your tow gear, jumper leads, all of the tools you might need to go out and repair a bus. <coughs> and the standard half cab sort of cab on them. <laughs> These cabs are a little bit crowded, but they're a fairly standard sort of cab for this era bus. Uh, very few gauges. You've got your air pressure, uh, for your brakes and your speed um, a lot of these when these were buses they had vacuum brakes so this used to be an oil pressure gauge when it was converted to a tow truck they put uh, uh, air brakes or the capacity for air brakes on um, you've got a voltmeter here all your switches and stuff here your battery isolator ignition and your start button hand brake here and gear lever over that side, indicators and horn up on the steering wheel here. So I'll just climb in. Ignition on, uh, battery isolator on, ignition on, 
make sure it's in neutral clutch down and press the button and they start that easily Anyway, the bus museum do a beautiful job restoring these old buses. I'll put a link to their website in the description if you want to go and have a look at some of the other buses they've restored. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye!